So the reason you're he we're here in Yakima participating in the Fiesta Day Salute is the fact that one of our company's missions is to reduce the adverse effects of vascular disease. One way that we do that is through the diagnostic tests that we provide in the hospitals and diagnostic centers, but also through uh, increasing awareness and providing education to the public. One of the tools that we use to um, provide education to the public is to provide free screenings, which obviously attracts a lot of attention and attendance and opportunity for us to provide a lot of one-on-one -on -one education about vascular disease, signs and symptoms, and to evaluate for peripheral arterial disease, which is what we're doing here, by measuring what's called the resting ankle brachial index. And when abnormal, it's an indirect way of assessing for coronary and carotid artery disease. Well, all the participant has to do is take off their shoes and socks um, after answering a risk factor questionnaire for cardiovascular disease. Blood pressure cuffs are put on both ankles and on arm and um, take a blood pressure by um, a stethoscope that uses an ultrasound to hear the blood flow. Compare the ankle pressures to the arm pressure and um, do an index do a mathematical calculation, uh, and that's what's called the ankle brachial index. And brachial refers to the arm uh, where the brachial artery is. The technologist put a little gel down on the arm and uh, at the ankle and pump up the cup and you can listen to the blood flow. The ankle pressures need to be the same or higher than the arm. Um, if the uh, ankle pressures are lower, it may indicate a blockage in um, the arteries in the legs. So if that's true, we uh, recommend that the patient goes on and has uh, further diagnostic testing and um, at least see the doctor to discuss the results.